Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Matty and today we're going to play is Bravely Default 2. So this is a very beautiful game and I have played this once before and I really enjoyed it. So I'm gonna play it again for my channel. So I hope you relax and enjoy this experience with me. Alright, so I'm just gonna press new game now. Slowly battles are easier. Sign of difficulty recommended for everyone except real gluttons for punishment. Enemy turns come around more quickly and battles are more difficult. But I have played this under normal, so I'm gonna play it as hard this time. Set. I do like his name though. Please note some characters may not display correctly, but aware that this name will be shared with others if online functionality is used. Sure. So you're floating up in water. The, hmm, prologue, the inner ocean's call. Beeping sound real far if you could hear that. It's weird. There's a bug. Is this what the crystal wished to show us? Without a doubt, my lady. Where the light led, there he lay. Are those voices? But whose? I remember that she's a princess. To seem he is a young man of the sea. Ah, man of the sea. This is all a little unexpected, I must say. But, but I, I trust, trust you, Sir Sloan, and, and I trust the light of the crystal. He may not seem much, my lady, but appearances can be deceiving. In any case, he is in need of urgent treatment. He Let us return to town hero of with all haste. We will talk more of what this means at a later juncture. Juncture. Can't believe I survived. Cool. Now what's happening?
In Halcyonia, in an inn. Don't be alarmed, you are quite safe. No, oh, that happened. Now that you appear to be capable of speaking, perhaps you could tell me a little about yourself. Me? Uh, sure, I mean, <laughs> I'm just a regular sailor, I guess. My ship got hit by this huge wave, and I was swept overboard. I... I don't remember anything after that. Guess I must have drifted here on the tide. I see. Then perhaps it was the Crystal's will after all. Huh? What do you mean? Ah! Our young seafarer has awoken at last. Verily, thy plight hath troubled us greatly, friend. We had feared the very worst. This is Sir Sloane, the royal man-at-arms. The... what? Come, my lady. We must make haste. It will not do to keep King Vernon waiting. Indeed not. We will leave right away. W wait You're going to meet a king? Who exactly are you? She's a princess. Gloria of Musa, at your service. Princess Gloria of Musa, if you prefer my proper title. Although, since my kingdom was destroyed, I've been unsure whether I'm worthy of it any longer. You're a princess. I'm a I shall princess. explain everything in due course. <laughs> For now, you would do well to rest a while longer. Uh, sure. Okay. Moving the story forward, right? It's time for you to. It's time to get your adventure underway. Any key locations you need to visit in order to move the story forward will be indicated by the this icon. Why not start by seeing where it leads you? If you ever get confused about what you're supposed to be doing, you can always press and hold R to check on your current objectives. Okay, I see this chest in the beginning, and I mean, I want to open it. Two Phoenix Towns. Cool. 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 Feeling better now, are you? Uh, yeah. yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here. Don't mention it. It's only right to help people out when they're in need. Well, Aww. thanks all the same. I hope so all. this place is called Halcyonia, right? Can't say I've ever heard of it. W where exactly are we? Ah, oh, I didn't think you were from around here. All right, let me show you on a map. Ah, uh, here we are. What the? Oh. This map doesn't make any sense. Where the heck am I? I heard you met with something of a calamity. Yeah, I guess you could say that. My ship was hit by a giant wave. Must have been a freak storm or something. Oh, oh dear. Typhoon. Yes, we've it's been really hearing a lot about enormous waves and the like the lately. We're all right here in the city, but I heard they wreaked havoc down on the coast. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should go check it out. See if I can figure out what happened to me. Well, the seaside's not far south of here. Follow the road out of town, and you'll be there in a jiffy. Tell you what, why don't you take the map with you in case you get lost? Really? Mm, map. The main menu is accessible. Press X to open it. Hmm. Let's check. So travel log, item, magic, equipment, attributes, lore, options. Let's check the options first. Hmm, language, camera, music, auto save. Let's go to default movement speed run. <clears throat> Objective markers, auto advanced dialog, text speed. Let's go fast. Show specific outfits, display controls. Hmm, remember cursor location, quick default. Press whether or not L can be to trigger the default command during battle. Let's turn this on. So I can just default, press L. Display controls during event scenes, quick specific outfits. Death blur. Difficulty hard. Okay. Oh. 
pretty thing. Home of the Spring Breeze, Halcyon Year. Mm. You'll find various helpful establishments in the village, towns, and cities to visit on your adventure. Shops, these sell equipment, items, and other vital supplies. Ends. Rest here to recover HP and MP. If you're struggling to find a particular establishment, press R to get a zoomed view, zoomed out view of your current location. If you need to get somewhere quickly, you can press and hold ZR to break into a room. You can also start. If you're the sort of person always in a hurry, you can always open the menu and go to options at the tab here and run by default. Can't let you through here, sorry, I'm afraid you have to turn back. Good children. If you have everything you need for your travels, if not, our shop should be able to help you. Listen, even if you don't need anything, could you at least go and browse a bit? My father gives me money for every customer I bring into the shop. I mean, that's a smart move for kids. What's this? Go in. Good child. What you doing? Treasure buckler. What's a good button do? Hello? Hello? Hmm, something strange has happened to the ocean. High seas, big waves, sudden storms. It's got the tides all messed up too, which means people can go out fishing, and no one's seen anything like it before. Shop. Let's see the shop. 422 PG? PG? Much I could use. Dagger cookies. Mm, this is good. Story for a while. Mm. You only have one season here in house, you only spring. It's nice and warm all around, perfect for taking outdoor naps. The pond's the only, pro the pond's the only problem. My hay fever basically never goes away. Ugh, in the Philippines, it's always like summer. Only wet and dry seasons. Princess Gory has been with us for a few years now, ever since she had to flee her own kingdom. Musa, it was called. Surely she can stay here forever, though. I wonder what she'll do. We mustn't abandon hope, no matter how bleak things become. We need to take courage and look to the future. The heroes of fire sure to cut through the darkness and come to our aid. That's what people used to say when I was a little girl. Anyway, I have no idea if it's actually true. Well, that is true. That's a nice one. Musa was the only small kingdom, but it had so much history. I don't understand what could have just destroyed it like that. I mean, there are loads of rumors, monsters, civil war, you name it. No one really knows the truth, though. The Halcyonian produce is the best. <laughs> you can ever hope to find Hick. That's why our drinker drinks taste so good. <laughs> Look, it must be true, but I've been drinking the local brew all day, Hick. <laughs> Sword arms getting stronger every day. Before I'm able to take down a dragon. I mean, I would if they existed. I know dragons aren't here. Oh, how could you be so sure? This is a fancy game. Anything can happen. King Vernon's other was engaged at the moment. You better come back later if you're hoping for an audience. Let's go. Let's see. How about you? Halcyon is the most prosperous and peaceful kingdom that's ever existed. I'm so lucky to have been born here. I mean, just look at what's going on elsewhere. Destroyed kingdom here, military dictatorship there. It is true. Sounds like taxes are going up again. It's been the same old history ever since Horton came into power. It's the last thing that people down on the coast need, and that's the huge storms and everything they've been dealing with. Cool. Princess Gloria, thank you for joining us. I think you may have some inkling of why I have summoned you here. It concerns the future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom, and while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. 
I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yeah. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Muse's unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honorable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, wise words, Sir Sloane. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Such irony. Yet can, I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. You can feel it. it is she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon. Your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain? Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish His Majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, Your Highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures, the Four Crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to <sighs> Sir Sloane, the Wind Crystal is safely in my possession already, but the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The crystal's power exceeds the hand of man, and if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity, and blight upon the land. I learned those lines as soon as I could talk. And if I understand them correctly, the troubled seas may be merely the first among many calamities to come. It is my duty, no, my destiny as Princess of Musa to do all that I can to prevent further misfortune befalling our world. And I shall fulfill it. Very well. I understand completely. Princess Gloria, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. Thank you, King Vernon. Your understanding in the matter is much appreciated. I smell a villain. <laughs> oh yeah. Beyond the city limits when you're out and about in your field, it's a great idea. So look around. Around you and get the lay of the land as you travel if you're using standard two-handed controls right away. Move the camera right stick. Pressing the right stick will expand or shrink the mini map. For a detailed overview of the virus controls, so open the menu and go to options controls. When you're out in the field exploring a dungeon, you can press Y to swing your sword. Tracing it to cut some grass or to give a monster a nice surprise, you never know what's going to happen. You can save your game at any time when you're in town or in the field by opening menu and selecting options then save. Even if you forget to save, the handy auto save function will occasionally record your progress for you. Looking, look for the saving message in the bottom right corner of the screen. While this can be useful, you you should still make a habit of saving regularly just to be saved. Okay. Let's, let's look around. Oh, I see a treasure chest. Treasure chest again. There's a treasure chest over there. Mm, 
just for the just for the just for the padded arm. Hmm. Here's your chest. Oh, it's, tur it's turning afternoon. I think I was going to towards the sea. Treasure chest? I was going to I was going to go take a look at the sea. Hmm. Oh, treasure chest again. Let's put some grass. I remember you could do that. Tempt and tame. Mm, let's check our equipment first. Buckler. Should give me more of your stuff. A leather cap, padded arm, float spin. Isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but this is something else. Oh, you should have seen the size of the waves. I smashed absolutely everything to pe. Oh, monster! <laughs> Quickly, get out of here! Oh, go, Grandma! Watch out, guys! The two commands form a key component of the Bravely series unique battle systems Brave and Default. Bravely Default, yeah. Use Default to accumulate built up power and Brave to unleash it. The Brave command is an potent offensive technique that enables a character to swim DP in order to increase the number of actions they can perform that turn. You can use it to string together chains of up to 4 moves using an item, then attacking 3 times for example. It's even possible to bar beat against future turns, enabling it to pile on the pressure when their time is right. The default command is a powerful defensive maneuver, and enables the character to hunker down and bank their action for that turn into the form of the break point. The safest way to progress through battle is often be begin by building a BP to do so the default command. Guess it's my turn! Alright, try time to add. Time to try out the Brave Command for yourself. You don't have any BP banks, but you can borrow against the BP of future turns to perform the three extra actions always mentioning. It's worth mentioning, however, that this may not be always the best idea, but never mind that for now. Try using the Brave Command for a few times to perform multiple attacks. Okay. Uh... So ZLZR is for free, battle in four sets. Why is your key? The key benefit of a break command is that you perform multiple actions in a single turn. Be aware, however, that if you borrow BP against future turns, you end up with a deficit and see what you before you can act again. What the enemy out in one go, but you have nothing to do. And you'll have nothing to worry about, but it's worth bearing in mind the risk if your downgo doesn't pay off. The default command can be employed to offset the downside of being good. You can use it to accumulate up to 3 BP with the help of which you'll be able to act 4 times and still take your next turn as normal. Build up BP, then let them loose. Spare this mind. Bear those roots in a particular and bigger bias if you won't go far away. Crikey! Sorry, pal! I didn't see you standing! How many times have I told you? Look before you cast! 
You can't just jump in spells blazing. And how many times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's all right, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly frazzling people. Ah, new teammates. Are you all right? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passers-by. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Oh, and I'm Elvis. Oh, yeah, Adele. <sighs> yeah. Anyway, enough chit-chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Hi, aye, aye. I'll do my best. Hmm. What's the plan? Let's see. We're good. Wise film. And in a scrap on you, laddie. That was some tasty brawling. It really was. You were definitely more help than a certain so-called scholar I could mention. Oh, aye. Less of that. I pulled my weight fair and square. Isn't that right, pal? Huh? Oh, um... Yeah. Definitely. Oh, you're only saying that because he put you on the spot. It's all right, you know. You can tell us what you really think. Besides, if you're nice to this one, it'll only go to his head. <laughs> <laughs> and what would be so wrong with that, eh? Go on, son. Praise away. I could do with a wee boost to the old self-esteem. Believe me, that's the last thing he needs. Uh, anyway, thanks for helping me out back there. Uh, miss... Miss. Hey, less of that. It's just plain Adele, okay? Aye, we don't stand much in ceremony as to. What are you doing scrapping with monsters anyway? You don't look like your average warrior, I must say. Oh, I was just helping out an old lady who was in trouble. Ah, have a go hero, eh? Very noble. I reckon you and me are going to get along just fine. Uh, which is lucky, because I'm about to take you back to town and treat you to a wee drink. Oh, no. Really? <laughs> Are you sure? Am I sure? <laughs> After a bonding experience like that, I insist on it. Well, in that case... All right. That's the spirit. Oh. Ah. <laughs> then away to the tavern we go. I've worked up a right old thirst. Oh, but before I forget, have you seen one of these about the place? What is it? It's called an asterisk. Us two are on a journey collecting them, which is how we ended up happening across you. But we're not friends or anything. I'm only here because he hired me. Okay, details. Anyway, we heard there was someone around these parts in possession of one of these wee beauties, so I was wondering if you may know something? No. Sorry, guys. I'm not from around here. Matter of fact, I'm not even here by choice. I got shipwrecked and just kind of washed up nearby. A shipwreck? Aww. Talk about a calamity. Yeah, I guess. But hey, I'm still alive and I wasn't too badly hurt, so... Aye, sounds like you're plenty to be thankful for. Not least of all meeting the two of us. Now, shall we go yeah. and celebrate or what? That bar will prop celebrate? itself up. <laughs> 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 Elvis and Adele join the party. Jobs and Bethes can now be viewed and managed from the main menu. Ugh. Different guys. <laughs> Your Highness! 
A wandering merchant brings most worrisome tidings. The desert kingdom of Savalon is beset by a sudden abundance of water. So much so that full half the capital has been submerged. A deluge in the desert, milady. Tis unheard of. I would fain hazard a guess that this is a crystal's doing. Savalon? The kingdom is a muse and ally of long standing. And King Orion is a fine man. I am sure he would be happy to tell us more about what has been happening. We should head there right away. One moment. Lurk not in the shadows, rogues. Show yourself. Very impressive, Saya Sloan. The greatest swordsman in the land is still as sharp as ever, it seems. Thou knowest me. Then thee and thy companion are no mere sneak thieves, it would seem. Sneak Perhaps thieves. thou might do me the kindness of an introduction. Well, since you asked so nicely, my sharp-eyed friend, I am Selena. Yes, Selena. and I'm Dag. We will I'm come Dad. straight to the point, yes? Princess Gloria, we want the wind crystal. Please make this easy for everyone and hand it over. What? Oh, I like their Come outfits. Now, do as we Seems say, like a white no mage one will have and to get a hurt. knight. Never mind all that fancy talk, Selena. Let's just bash him and take the bloody Selena? thing. The old god just already got one foot in the grave. We'll be done with him in no time. Thou thinkest me too old to school thee, boy? There is life in this old dog yet. <laughs> Ooh, Gramps has got a temper on him. Well, rage all you like, mate. You don't stand a chance against me. Is that an asterisk? Too right it is. Bet you wish you'd just given us the crystal now, don't ya? Bring it, old man. What? Was it you? Do the despoilers of Musa stand before me? Musa? But what are you all about? Hmm. Mayhap you are mere mercenary. In which case, whose coin hath purchased thy services? Coin? Hmm. I'll show you. Thy, thy services. Oh no! Game's up, Grandad. Put the sword down, or the kid gets it. S stop it! L let me go! Sir Sloan, you must do as he says. What kind of monster takes a child hostage? Whatever! Yeah. It worked, didn't it? All's fair dinkum in love and war. Now shut your whinging and hand over the crystal. <laughs> Please stop it! I do not have the crystal. Hey? You have hidden it somewhere. Very well. Then we will just have to take you instead. Never! You will let the child go free? Then I will do as you say. Princess Gloria! Hostage trade, eh? Hmm, yeah, not a bad idea. And I'd probably go along with it too if Greybeard here hadn't rubbed me up the wrong way. Oh. <gasps> Sir Sloan! Fear not, your highness. It will take a mightier blow than this it to will, fill it me. Will. will it now? Well, there's a coincidence, because that's exactly what I was about to give you. Ready or not? Your highness! I have already agreed to come with you. There is no need for further bloodshed. Oh, yeah? Think you can tell me what to do, do ya? You ain't the princess of me, girly. All right, Dag. You have had your fun. But... Ah. She was telling the truth. She does not have the wind crystal. Now, do as we crystal. promised and release the child. Child. <laughs> oh. You can walk, yes? You must fetch the wind crystal and bring it to the abandoned house north of town. Once you have done that, we will release Princess Gloria. But if you even think about bringing help from Halcyonia, well, 
I'm sure I don't need to tell you what would happen. <laughs> Smell you later, Drongai. Princess Gloria. Princess Gloria. That's so sad. Mm. Monsters truly roam the fields and dungeons of the land. Come into contact with one in the battle will begin. When the monster notices you'll see a exclamation point symbol near him of its head and will come charging towards you. Try not to let monsters approach you from the band as you'll find yourself at a distinct disadvantage in the ensuing battle. Party chat as you work your way through the story location to see the words party chat appear in the top right corner of the screen press plus while this text is visible to enjoy a conversation between members of your heroic band the notification will display after a while but you can ca catch up on the party chat that you've missed by opening the menu and going to travel log and memories oh, there's a person here a couple of tips if you're ever up against multiple enemies First, try to whittle their numbers down as quickly as possible. After all, the fewer of them there are, the fewer attacks you have coming back in your direction. Focusing your efforts on limiting one goal at a time is definitely proven to reduce injury and ultimately the last. Second, take a careful look how much health each enemy has and enemy weakness. Step back at me for a moment rather than rushing and swinging. You, you'll save yourself time and bandages in the long run. Is there treasures here? No. That's clearly a chest. Difficult Turns order during battles. The yellow bar underneath each character's HP and bars to turn gate. When it's full, that means the character's turn is ready to come around. The speed at which it fills can be affected by all kinds of factors. For example, a character's speed stat and the weight of their equipment. The actions a character took in their previous turn status effect of either slowdown or speed up the character. The status of your allies turn gate should therefore only be taken as a rough guide as to who will act next. Enemy turn order. The enemies don't have visible turn aids, but you will see a warning sign next to any foe whose turn is about to come around. Oh yeah. It's the best to try and deal with anyone marked in this way as an urgent priority. Be, be aware whoever that these warning signs are also just a rough guide and some wily foes will have surprises up their sleeves. If you want to succeed in guards and enemies will encounter, you need to understand how best to exploit their vulnerabilities. Doing so enables you to deal up to 1.3 times the damage to you with otherwise. There are two types of vulnerability elements, so weapon types. There are a number of ways to work out and it's going to be through one of these to buy a magnifying glass on your local shop. In fact, buy a few. It will make your battle in a whole life a whole lot easier. You can check the vulnerabilities of any monsters you previously examined by using the battle and full command game. Okay. Okay. Comrades in arms. 
so um why why are you staring like that oh don't tell me you've taken a shine to a hotel here no no it's nothing like that i was just wondering how long you guys have been traveling around together that's all i mean the way you fight and everything it feels like you've known each other for a long time how long has it been elvis since you first hired him crikey i'm not sure Char. did you did we meet before I set off, or did I buy, bump into you later? I can't quite recall. <laughs> Not that it matters anyway. Don't sweat the details. That's what I always say. So I don't really know each other, or look, you don't need to go way back with someone to know you can trust them. And that and trust is the most important thing. You might think you need to know someone for years, but that's not always the way. It's feeling you have, that's all. And you've either got it or you haven't. With Adele, I knew from the start I was onto a winner. Had the same feeling about you and all. Listen to your gut, Larry. You will not go far wrong. Definitely might, but let's just let him have this thing, shall we? <laughs> sure. Rare monsters, you should come across rare breed of monsters, wondering how they're much stronger than their fellow creatures. Wading into battle with one prepared can be a very bad idea, so when you spawn, make sure you're good and ready if, if you plan to take it on. Don't forget to save first. Look, greedy. It's not a fight again, it's a red. I remember that it's a red, it's difficult. Allied advantage. Gaining advantage, pushing much from behind, you'll begin ensuring the battle with an advantage. Conversely, if the monster manages to sneak up on you from behind, they'll start with an advantage instead. This can make a difference to your chances, so try to make sure you always do when you bow for him. Oh my god, there's fine. Target HP and 10% of their own MP. Oh boy. Let's just go to Athens and Potion UI. This will do it. Cheers. I owe you one. Here I go. Dust. 
I'm sorry, that. It's weird. Let's put the bed. Here I go. Mm, two, four. Probably thunder than four. So. Thanks to Binding Wall. Abilities. Divining Rod. What does this mean? It's a recent number from the open charges that's nearby. Ooh. There's 18. That's a lot. The way to open the <laughs> Did you see that? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Let's change sets. Items, items, pound will depend on the user's job level. Four hundred ten PG. Come 
on then. Nice hammer. Okay then. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. When it comes dark, that's when the monsters really come out to play. There's more of them than in Tatum. If you want to make it to your destination with the minimum hassle, travel during daylight hours. What if you fancy a monster hunt at night times direct? Now that I'm endorsing a monster hunting for its own sake, of course, very dangerous pastime. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. We've outmaneuvered them! Looks like Lux and Emma say, I'm going all in! Ha! 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 Ha!
Stand by. You're not messing around. I was ready for that one. You're not messing around. Here I go. Okay. I'm all set. Okay. What's the plan? Oh, what's next? I wonder. Show me, Ganser. Guess it's my turn. Okay. No body. No powers, huh? Forage. I'm just going around. Hello, hello there, man. Person. Funny is having a lot of many versus many situations. I didn't the person to do spell because I shouldn't target at a time. If you go spreading yourself too thin, you'll be kicking up a lot of dust to every little effort. A concentrated effort's much more likely to get you one step closer to walking away a winner. Once you have singled someone out, it's important to let them know that you're listening. Like, really, listen. What am I talking about? <laughs> what, are you ta what are you talking about? I'm showing some top tips here. If you can thank me later, some people. Hmm. Fight this one. Oh, we're almost at the one hour mark. Maybe after this. We can end the <laughs> They're sitting ducks. I'm going all in. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up, huh? Did you see that? I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Cool. I don't want to fight. I mean, a nasty surprise in the different choice. Just as I said. So. We won't be going easy on you. Okay. Whoa. Water and What's the call oh. set? It's nothing. Burn! Smolder! Oh, did you underestimate us? Cool. Mini ethers. No, 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 I'm amazing. I'm amazing. Hmm. Let's go back to the main story for now. I think I've delved into the battle a little bit too much. So before we go, I'm just gonna save my game. Hmm. Override your selected save game. Okay guys, that's one hour mark. Uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, just like and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you again in my next episode. So, thank you guys. Bye.